can the kidney pick up after few sections of dialysis? This is one of the questions I get asked on a daily basis in the unit where I work because I actually work in a dialysis unit. So patients come in and their relative and they keep asking, how many sections of this dialysis am I going to do to be okay? Okay, like one of the reasons why they ask this question is because of how expensive dialysis is because nobody wants to keep um, doing dialysis every day or every, three times a week or coming into the hospital, becoming a friend of the hospital. Like nobody wants to feel like being attached to a machine is actually what their survival depends on. It's not a very nice feeling. Even those who life um, hits so much and that is the thing they have to do, they have to go through. Many of them may not do so, will not do so happily and we require a lot of psychological um, um, a psychological care or psychological whatever you're going to however you're going to put it to be able to go through that emotional trauma especially at the first stage maybe when this person starts um, getting used to it they can have a personal coping mechanism but I want to say um, for sure that being on dialysis is not and it's, it's not an easy thing. I've seen a lot of them over the years and I can tell you categorically, I can tell you as an authority that it is not easy to be sentenced to dialysis either three times a week or however it is. So most of these patients when they come in initially they ask me how long am I going to dialyze for this thing to go off. So now I want to tell you that we have different um, type of um, kidney Kidney failure is divided into different um, types, okay, or you can call it kidney disease, divided into different types. Because I'm doing this video in order to communicate to everyone, so everyone understands what I'm saying, both those who are medicals and those who are not anywhere near medicals. So we have what we call acute kidney injury. Some people prefer to call it acute renal injury or acute renal shutdown or whatever you decide to call it. Then we have what we call chronic kidney disease so these two they are both different and two of them can also cause one to be needing dialysis so what am i saying i said two of them can also cause someone to be on dialysis so what is acute renal injury or acute kidney failure so this acute kidney failure is when the kidneys can no longer perform the activity within a very short period of time usually not longer or higher than 72 hours or 48 hours depending on how the case may be then some school of thought can extend it to a longer time so but well, this is that for this for this video let's maintain these 72 hours so now what and what can actually cause someone to have um acute renal injury we can have things like um, obstruction on the urinary pathway like when someone is having fibroid and it is pressing on the urinary tracts and it's now disturbing the functionality of the kidney it could also be due to prostrate okay when it's blocking the urinary tract it's like no longer pass urine so anything that can actually, it, could, it could also be due to tumor in fact anything that can actually cause obstruction to the flow of urine can in the long run it lead to acute renal shutdown it could be due to also loss of fluid loss of fluid means that you are, there is no longer um what do you call that there's no longer water in this person's body this uh, is common with people who have diarrhea especially in children diarrhea the diarrhea is when you lose a lot of when you pass a lot of stool okay um, your stooling and you pass a lot in very short period of time and if the flu that you've lost is not properly replaced it can actually cause renal shutdown or renal acute renal injury so also when you lose a lot of blood when you lose a lot of blood it can also cause this condition we're talking about acute renal injury and also in case of some accidents um, um, what do I call it direct injury to the kidneys physical injury to the kidneys maybe people have said gunshots 
all those um, traumas, all those things that can actually cause direct trauma to the kidneys, all these things can actually lead to acute renal shutdown. It could also happen in the hospital, maybe due to blood transfusion reaction. Okay, it could also happen when someone is um it could also happen when someone is in ICU. So something like this could also happen. It could happen due to sepsis, okay, when the body is actually overwhelmed with infection. This uh, acute renal shutdown, uh, acute renal injury can happen. And when this happens and dialysis is initiated on time, it's initiated on time and done properly, the kidney has a lot of chance of recovering. Okay, before I came on this um, um, to talk about this, a friend of mine, okay, a lady, I just spoke with her, she had issue like this with her kidneys, okay, and she was operated on, in fact she will she'll be discharged from the hospital today. So now um, the thing that was causing hydronephrosis that led to deterioration in her kidney function was removed. Now her kidney is beginning to do what to function. Now we have um, we've talked about acute renal injury. So now let's talk about chronic kidney disease. In fact, chronic kidney disease is actually divided into okay, it's actually in stages. Let me not say it is divided. It's actually in stages. We have stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, and stage five. So these stages are numbered based on the glomerular filtration rate. So now, the one in the hospital we know as kidney failure is not stage one, it's not stage two. The one we know in the hospital as kidney failure is stage five. And this stage five, when you go, that is what is known as kidney failure. Stage five, in fact, stage four is not. Stage three is not. They are known as chronic kidney disease. So that is to tell you that chronic kidney disease is actually different from kidney failure. So kidney failure is a part, is a stage of chronic kidney disease. Remember, what I said that it is actually a stage of chronic kidney disease. It is not kidney failure. It's not. Um, I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Okay, so now that we've noted that, if you go to the hospital, your doctor may also refer to it as um, end stage renal disease. So now, let me clear you. Most of the time, the part um, of this chronic kidney disease that requires dialysis is the stage five kidney, the CKD, that is chronic kidney disease. That is the part that actually requires dialysis so and um, when kidney when chronic kidney disease gets to this point it becomes totally irreversible medically it becomes med medically irreversible okay so and when this happens the solution would be to remain on dialysis guess what just listen to what i said the solution would be to remain on dialysis and to do dialysis three times in a week at least three times a week for the rest of the person's life or until this person gets a new kidney okay so i don't know if you've got what i said so now we have stage one two three and four so why is it that most people don't know that they have kidney failure or why is it that most people who have chronic kidney disease are on dialysis okay now let me answer the question uh, in our country, Nigeria, or in at most African countries, um, we do not diagnose people on time. So we have another client. I have a friend in the U.S. So I call my patients my friend because it helps me connect closer to them. So um, from the U.S., so this woman had kidney failure. She was on dialysis. So but she, she had, sorry, she had chronic kidney disease okay uh, i think we're stage four or stage three or thereabout and because of what actually caused the kidney disease which was an obstruction okay she began dialysis and when that um, surgery was done she became free and worked on her diet and the kidney the kidney chronic kidney disease has not up to now it's more than um, i met her in 2020 up to now it has not progressed 
to um, end stage renal disease, which is kidney failure, because she discovered it and she is now doing the right thing through diet. So I have a book I wrote about um, kidney health guide that can actually help you if you're having chronic kidney disease. It could uh, it can also help you to also prevent chronic, uh, chronic kidney disease or any of these kidney diseases we've talked about. So what are you going to make out of this point of, uh, I'm discussing right now? I know that this video happens. I want it to be short, but we've overs uh, we're overshooting because I want you to actually pick every depth of what I'm saying. So when it is kidney failure, end stage renal disease, that is stage five, it means that you will be needing dialysis at least three times a week for life or until you get um, transplanted with your new kidney or until a miracle happens for those who believe in, in miracle. Then if you're having acute renal injury, it means that after a few sections of dialysis, you could actually get better. Even some women who have obstetric complications could actually get to this point. And if treatment is melted, it is given on time and done properly, they become okay. We've seen a lot of that, a lot of this um, in our center. I have seen cases where people who were badly managed from outside, by the time they get to the center, they were already um, in a very difficult place and it ended up in CKD. So the essence of this video is to clear this question. How long can someone who has KD failure dial uh, dialyze and will no longer need dialysis? I hope this um, video answers your question. So once again, don't forget, I am Honorable Victory, your kidney health coach. And if you've not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button. And also, I would also want you to click on the notification button so that whenever I make videos like this, you can see that this video was highly educating. I also make a lot of highly educating videos. What you just have to do is to put on the notification button so that whenever things like this happen, I post any new video you'll be among the first to know. And my comment section is actually open for questions. I'm there to answer you. Okay, if you need to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, you can actually reach out to me, request for my WhatsApp link, which I'm going to give to you, and we can talk one-on-one -on, -one on WhatsApp. I'm accessible and I'm here for you. So also I have a group where I teach people about their kidney health on WhatsApp. And this community is actually free. You can do well to join our community. And if you need any of my book on kidney health, you can actually log on to Seller and look for my profile or simply request for the link from me and it will be sent to you. So I am Honorable Victory and I'm your kidney health coach. Thanks for watching up to this point.